Okay, when you get your tuners, sometimes you gotta check your tuners. You're gonna get a, a metal file. Now this is a triangle metal file. Sometimes there's like a little burr on the tuner. So what you might need to do is just take the metal file and just take off those burrs, just check them. You don't want any burrs on the tuner because you don't want to break the string or snap the string. So just check them, um, check each tuner to make sure they're free from any burrs when they were made. Okay, so that one had a little burr. This one has a little burr. And you could feel the burr. You'll know if it, if it has a burr or not. Okay, so please do that before you install your tuners. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna drill the holes for the tuners. These are the tuners. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you take the template on the neck, on the head of the neck. All right, we're gonna line it up and we're gonna make our marks with a very sharp pencil, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna punch each hole. Okay, so take the scratch hole or the punch and just punch all the holes. And I did that on all of them already. Okay, so they're all punched. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it over to the drill press and I'm gonna drill with a 1564 drill bit. Okay, now I got the 1564 drill bit in. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill all the tuner holes. Okay, and I got it marked. Okay, keep it flat against the table. Mark it up. We're going to do about 800 RPMs. Let's go 1,000 RPMs. Okay, let's bring it there. Bring it down. Get it on your mark. Go nice and easy. So now all our tuner holes are drilled, okay, and the tuner will come through the back like this, okay, and we'll set all the tuners up. Okay, looks good. Okay, now what I want you to do is I want you to get the, the tuners situated. Okay, so I got my tuners. When you, when you look at the tuners, the top and the, the bottom and the top are different, so you got to kind of plan it out so you know how they're going together. So when I put these in, they're all gonna line up the correct way. Okay, and they're gonna have nice spacing. So when you look at the tuners in this one, you could see that they're, the shape on the top is the same on all of them. Okay, so there's gonna be a left and the right. Okay, so this is how you should do it. You kind of figure them out where they go. Okay, make sure they fit well. Now sometimes, if the hole doesn't quite fit right, if this tuner doesn't go in that easy, you need to take a round file and just clean it up a little bit. Okay, just to make sure it's, it's really well. And I already checked them all, so they all work well, but I did have to use the file on them. Now, once you get that figured out, I want you to number. Number all the holes. This will be number one, number two, three, four, five, and six because it's a six string guitar. Okay, so I got all my holes numbered. Okay, if you could see that, they're all numbered on there. 
Then what I'm going to do is I already got my tuners kind of laid out the way I want them. I know that these are going on this side and these are going on this side. Okay, so what you want to do, I always like to number each one. So this is number one. This would be number two. And I put the numbers on the back of them. This would be number three. Then four is up here. So there's no confusion when we put these on. Five's here. And then six. Okay, so they're all kind of figured out. There's no confusion. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. I'm going to start with number one. I'm going to put it like that. And I'm going to mark it with my pencil. Then I'm going to take the punch. And I'm going to put a little dent there. And I'm putting it right on my mark. Okay, you can see that I got it right there on the marks. Okay, everything's lined up. Then what you're going to do is you're going to have to pre-drill a hole for this small little screw that goes into the tuner. Now, if we don't pre-drill, this screw will not go into the maple. And if it did try getting it through, it's probably going to break. So we're going to use the cordless drill. Okay, and you're going to set it for the height of that little screw. Okay, so I'm going to take that screw. I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to go to the whole height, and it's right there set. Tighten it up. Now this goes that deep. Size of the screw, it goes that deep. Okay? All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to pre-drill those holes. Put it right on your deck. Okay, and that is going to ensure that when you put this tuner on, this is number one, and you put these screws in, it's going to be right at the correct spot. Okay, so I want you to do that next so we can get these on, and then we'll put these tuners on after we finish it, but that's a big step. The thing I forgot to tell you is that we got to be very careful not to lose any of these parts. Okay, so put all your parts back in the bag so you don't lose anything. Okay, they're all numbered. These are yours. So I suggest that you also put your name on the bag so we don't get confused whose is whose. All right, so make sure you store everything in here. Don't lose any parts. Okay.